why not? It's Christmas break. I am going to be lazy. I've had yet another nap today. <laughs> the start of a new reading vlog i don't think i've done one of these since the summer but you know what i'm trying to get back into filming again so uh it is currently christmas eve and i tried to avoid going to the store today i, I thought i had everything but i do need some last minute things so that sucks so um i am dressed and i'm gonna try to venture into target and See what kind of mess that is but i just i want to get in and out very very quickly we are going to my parents house this evening and i just want to enjoy as much of a lazy day as i can before we head out i did start harry potter and the sorcerer's stone so i want to get back and finish that while i wrap some things christmas is not really my favorite holiday i used to love it but i've just experienced a lot of personal loss in the last several years so it, it just doesn't hit the same for me anymore so I, I do what I can, and The Sorcerer's Stone is technically a Christmas movie if you think about it. But anyway, so I'm going to go out, finish my shopping, get home, watch my movie, wrap some stuff, maybe take a nap, finish some reads. I do have some, well, okay. I did start Crescent City, uh, House of Earth and Blood. The first one, whatever, I started it last night because I've been purposely holding this series off until now because I didn't want to have to wait too long for CC3. So I'm very confused so far. I'm about 20% in and I have heard from a lot of people that the world building in this first one is like insane and it is a lot of info dumping. But I did download the audiobook to help. So I think I'll just listen to that while I'm out doing my errands. Like I said, get home, watch movies, rap, maybe take a nap. I don't know, throw in some reads. I don't know. It's going to be a very chaotic Christmas Eve, but we will see how the day goes. Okay, so Target. Definitely, like, solidifying the fact that I don't like people. Wow, are people rude? I don't know. Anyway, I got in. I got out. I have one more stop to make, and then I am going home for good until I need to leave for my parents. Because, you guys, this is just... This is not it for a very introverted anti-social person. It is 
is now Christmas Day. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon and I am happy to say that I am officially done with this holiday. I have gone to my parents. I just got back from my father-in-law's. Yeah, leaving the house for me for Christmas is officially over. So I think I am just going to take a wonderful Christmas Day nap that I have just so been looking forward to since yesterday because I am just exhausted. I'm just, like I said, I I'm, I'm done with the holiday, but I have been reading more of Crescent City. Please excuse this mess back here. I have a bunch of children's books that I need to take to my classroom. And like I said, I Christmas is over and I'm just ready to declutter, take all this crap down and just be refreshed. Anyway, back to Crescent City. So I have made a pretty good dent in this. I think I'm almost 30% through and I'm finally starting to understand things because wow, this book is really heavy on info dumping early on. Like what was Miss Sarah Janet thinking? Holy crap. But uh, yeah, I like it for what it is so far. I know that I've had to look up a few things that I was confused about, but I do know the big book two spoiler, like you can thank TikTok people for doing that, but I'm really excited for Crescent City 3. I'm just, yeah, I don't even, I still really don't know what this is about. This is a really bad book explanation, but anyways, I'm reading Crescent City and yeah, I'm not really that much into it. I am into part two and I'm learning more about Bryce and her relationship with her brother and yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's still very, very early on, so I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more later. But, like, the very beginning of this is just, like I said, it is a lot of info dumping. But at least I'm finally at a point where I feel like the plot is moving forward and I'm finally starting to become invested. <clears throat> that said, um, I also am reading a few things on my Kindle. I did pick up a Why Choose yesterday and... I am not a wide shoes girly, but lately this month, I don't know, I've read a few and they're kind of hitting different for me. I don't know. I'm just, I need something new. Like, I've been on such a dark bully specifically kick since September and it's my favorite trope, but I'm worried that I'm going to get burned out from it because I've read all the good ones. And so I feel like I need to try some new things because, I, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I, oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. What was I saying? Anyways, I think I really need to take that nap now. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to take a nap. Maybe do some reading on my Kindle in bed. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just, we'll talk in a few hours when I feel like I can speak sentences. I don't know. Hey, me again after a nap and oh my God, I feel so much better. I feel more alive, refreshed. I can actually think and process things. Um, so a little bit reading update. I did end up laying down and I I decided not to read my Why Choose book. I don't know. I think I'll go back to it. It's the first book like in a new series. So I know it'll probably end on a cliffhanger. So I'm probably gonna take my time on that one. But I did download a new one. I think it came out in like July, but it's the first in like a new mc series and it's been a hot minute since i've read a motorcycle club series pretty much since the end of the summer when i was reading all of uh, the fallen men i still have not read caution in the wind yet the new one that gianna just released i need to but i decided to pick this up it has really high ratings on goodreads it's one i have not seen before and i do talk a lot on my channel about how i just love those hidden gems and this one is really good so far i'm only three chapters in but it, it's i don't know it just it's got a lot of promise so it's called the sins of betrayal and yeah i think there's two books out so far in the series and i think i saw like a teaser for book two on instagram and that's how like i found this series but yeah i'm gonna uh read a little bit more on here just until we have dinner because yeah, still gotta eat tonight, but um, yeah, I'll probably read some more of this. Maybe go a little bit back and forth with Crescent City, because like I said, this is finally picking up and I'm understanding it more. But uh, yeah, I just, like I said, Christmas is pretty much over now and I feel like I can just relax, you know? As a mom, it was a lot of 
getting things ready, prepped, shopping, wrapping, and now I, it's over and I can <laughs> enjoy my gifts and I can enjoy reading. I did get a ton of gift cards, so um, probably go out shopping. I don't know, maybe hit Barnes & Noble tomorrow. I don't know. Normally they have like a New Year's Eve sale with the hardbacks, so I might wait. I don't, I don't know. But uh, anyway, for now, I'm going to uh, get a little bit more reading done. And then, yeah, we'll just kind of see where the rest of Christmas Day night takes us. Tuesday evening and as you can see I've just yeah <laughs> for the rest of Christmas I just enjoyed my laziness because yeah why not it's Christmas break I am going to be lazy I've had yet another nap today but I would like to say I've earned this one because as you see I ran some errands this morning you know I ventured out into that very scary day after Christmas crowd I didn't want to, but I needed to get some things done. So I did go to Target, uh, looked around. I have to say, I am definitely impressed with how much Target has stepped up their book game because I think I showed a tiny little clip just of one of the selection or shelf selections that you have there. But yeah, they've definitely stepped up their game. And I also am so appreciating the fact that I'm starting to see Penelope Douglas books in a lot of stores I go into now because I love Penelope. Penelope is one of my favorite authors and I just feel like they have never gotten the appreciation with their books that they deserve and it's just really nice to go into a store and see those books now. Uh, but yeah, uh, Miranda Target. I did have to go to Lowe's and get some curtains for the kitchen so that was a fun little excursion and then of course did hop down to Barnes and Noble because I did get a bunch of gift cards and I did end up grabbing um Keeping 13. Hold on, I'm gonna grab it real quick. Today was the release date for the Bloomsbury edition of Keeping 13 and so I did go grab that because you guys do know that I am pretty much collecting every version of this series. I did pre-order this on Amazon but it hadn't even shipped yet but it didn't ship when I was leaving Barnes and Noble and I did try to cancel that order this morning just because like I hadn't 
like I said, it hadn't shipped yet. There were no updates on it. So they did ship it. So I might end up just taking this back to Barnes and Noble and getting a credit or something. I don't know. I might send the Amazon one back, get a credit there, or maybe I'll just have two keeping 13s. I don't know. I mean, this will, this is technically my fourth keeping 13 version, but I don't know. Maybe I can have two. I don't know. I love this series. So I, I'm just going to defend every possible excuse for having multiple versions of this book. But anyway, I did grab that. And then I also did grab, take the receipts out. I did grab House of Sky and Breath, the um, exclusive Barnes and Noble edition, because you guys know I'm reading the first book now. I am on part three, so I'm definitely getting through this pretty fast. And I have a feeling I will be able to start this by the end of this week and yeah I'm just gearing up for CC3 so yeah that was just my little mini Burns and Noble haul but I do have a little bit of rant because they did not do their buy one get one half off for the hardbacks this year it was 33% off so I, I don't really know what the uh decision making thought was there but yeah uh, so I did not get any hardbacks. Uh, there just weren't really any good ones. So I might go back in a couple days because the sale is going through the 28th. But anyway, so those were just the very small errands that I did run today. And then I came home and took yet another nap because like I said, I am, I am in full rotting Christmas break mode and I am here for it. Um, but yeah, I do, I still need to do some cleaning. I mean, as you can see back behind me, this is an absolute mess. I need to take the Christmas stuff down. Just looking at it is giving me anxiety, but let me just kind of show you the mess that I have to deal with. I have a lot of things that I need to put away. Okay, so we're gonna like, you know, we, we need to take care of all this, but like I explained yesterday, these bins are full of like children's book and like other random crap that I can take to my classroom. I just have to do it. They're just very heavy bins and I kind of need my husband to help me. This is a stack of a whole bunch of random crap. Like I think I have some subscription boxes I need to go through. Um, stuff I took out of subscription boxes that I need to find room on my shelf for. Um, some reads that I was currently reading. Yeah, some new stuff I bought. Yeah, like I said, this, this is going to get me anxiety now. But this definitely needs to be cleaned up. This is a whole other thing right here. Like, I mean, my poor vinyls, like, uh, I need to treat them better. But like, like I said, I just have a whole bunch of piles of every, like these two Illumicrate boxes, I haven't even opened them yet. And that honestly should be a sign that it's probably time to get rid of that subscription service. So yeah, probably gonna do that this month, cancel that, but need to go through those. And then like over here, this was where my pretty Halloween collage wall was, and I have not figured out, like, what I'm going to do with this wall. So, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, send them my way, because it's just, it's really, really blank right now. Okay, so that's just, like, a quarter of the mess stuff I have to clean up. Like, I didn't even show you my shelf area or anything like that. I, I think I'm actually, what I'm planning on doing later this week, maybe even tomorrow, I don't know, it depends on how much motivation and energy I have, but I think I want to take every book off of my shelf and I want to reorganize just because like I said, I have piles back here of books I need to put away and then I do have piles of books over by my shelf that I need to put away too. And I need to declutter and I need to get rid of books that I am just never going to read again or I just honestly don't plan on reading because I will say that this year especially, I really have done a lot better with consumerism and not going out and buying books just for the sake of buying them. During 2021 and early 2022, when I was still figuring out my reading tastes and my platform and everything like that, I pretty much, I'd see a book on Book Talk or whatever and I'd run out and grab it with not reading it right away. Just like, oh, I'll put it on my shelf for another day. But a lot of those books are still sitting on my shelf and I just have no interest in reading them. And, you know, this year especially, I really feel like I have defined my romance reading tastes. And I just, unfortunately, I'm not much of a rom com gal and there is just a lot on my shelf that I'm just never going to read. So I think tomorrow, like I said, if I have the energy and the oomph to do anything, 
I think I'll just go through everything on my shelf, make a nice little pile to sell on Pango, all that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, reading update though. Um, so I'm still reading that MC book. I'm about 30% in and I'm really enjoying it. I was kind of hitting a point where I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep reading this because I will say that you don't hit any motorcycle club stuff until about almost 30% into the book. Um, the first chunk of it, the guy is a big mystery. You're getting to know him and motorcycle club gang doesn't come out until later. But I'm now that this stuff is happening, I'm just really intrigued. This is definitely, like I said, a hidden gem. And um, I can already see the setup for the next couple in the second book. And I am super intrigued with that. It's a tortured hero and a deaf girl type of situation, which, yeah give me all the extraness uh yes yeah, so i'm still reading that and then like i mentioned earlier i am on part three of um crescent city house of sky earth and blood i don't, i keep mixing up the names of these i think i'm just gonna say cc1 cc2 and cc3 it's just it's easy like a guitar you know i don't know uh but yeah anyway um those are my reading updates those are my cleaning or need to clean updates um yeah so I don't know. I'll see if I get any more reading done tonight. I kind of want to watch some more movies. Um, if you'll see last night, I was watching Wish Upon a Star. If you've never seen that, it is such a good movie. It's a Freaky Friday type of moment. And I used to watch it on the Disney Channel in the 90s. I think it's one of Katherine Heigl's first roles. It is just iconic. It is two very polar opposite sisters swap bodies and it's just a very good 90s time so I don't know I'm I'm kind of in a 90s rom-com mood okay like I said I won't read rom-coms but I'll watch them I don't know pick your battles whatever so yeah I think I think I might I'm in a movie mood I don't know maybe a movie maybe read my kindle with the movie in the background I don't know we'll see how much focus I can do but anyways that's it for now. All right, good morning. It is Thursday. I didn't end up filming anything yesterday just because I ended up having a lot of chores, housework to do. I got a lot of laundry done, dishes. As you can see, I still have not taken my Christmas crap down because I do need to get new bins to do that. So maybe I'll venture out today and grab those. I don't know. I'm really kind of digging just not leaving my house and staying in my sweats. Anyway, uh, so I did uh, read a little bit more of Crescent City yesterday. Um, I listened to my audiobook a little bit while I was doing chores. I think I only ended up reading one or two more chapters. So I'm about 48, 50% in. And yes, I have mentioned before it's picking up. So I'm starting to understand it more. My my thing is, is there's just too many characters right now to keep track of. So I do find myself jumping on Pinterest quite a bit so I can visualize them in my head while I'm reading. I don't know. Like I said, this series is just a lot to keep up with, but it is fun. It is enjoyable. And then I did finish my Kindle book yesterday. Did really end up enjoying this. I am going to give it a four star. I will say that last night when I was reading it, about 40% in, I found myself a little bit bored and I was thinking maybe I'll DNF, but then it quickly took this turn where the romantic suspense just really picked up and the plot really got going and then I just found myself so sucked in and then I ended up finishing it around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. But I really, really did it, like it and I will probably talk about it in another video. I need to do another recommendation video soon, but I would definitely pick up this series if you like The Fallen Men and Hades Hangmen because I felt like it had elements from both of those series and I know some people have been talking about how they want Motorcycle Club books to kind of make a comeback in 2024 and I'm telling you this was a really good series. It is one of those ones like Hades Hangmen, Fallen Men that it has a plot that's going to go through all of the books where you have bad guys and all of that and I will say this book also does a really great job of setting up the other couples where you get excited. I did start book two last night and MC is a scarred guy. He keeps a hood over his face. He doesn't let people see, touch, or talk to him. And then our female MC, she is like sunshine, daisies, all of that. So I'm just really interested in this setup. And um, I think I made it like 10% through last night. So I'll probably end up reading some more of that today. But I do need to film another video. I think I'm going to do my 
most anticipated reads for 2024 just because I think I can do that pretty quickly but yeah that's just kind of the day I think I will wrap up this vlog later today just because I've been filming it for a few days and I would like to move on and start a new one but yeah those are my reading plans um, I'm gonna try to finish Crescent City maybe today we'll see how much cleaning I get done maybe I can just zip through that audiobook if not <laughs> and I don't want to do any cleaning I'm just gonna get cozy and I'm gonna pop back on my Kindle the traffic is so loud today what the actual fuck anyway um it is friday afternoon about 1 30 and um obviously i haven't done an update since yesterday but i pretty much just had a lazy day i read a lot of my mc book and i'm really really enjoying this one if i mentioned in the last update he is a scarred mc and she is deaf and so it just adds this whole combination that I absolutely love. It totally has touch her and you die scenarios. I think I'm about 85% through, so I am almost done. So I'm hoping to finish that within the next hour. And then I'll give a final update when I do finish and then probably wrap up this vlog after that. But yeah, I just, I'm really enjoying this. I, I love uh, the motorcycle trope. I, it's just, it's been a while since I've read a really good one, like I said. Fallen Men and Hades Hangman are really the only good ones that I've read so if you have other ones let me know but I am enjoying this I did read a tiny bit more of Crescent City yesterday so slowly making my way through that I'm thinking maybe after I finish my motorcycle one I'll kind of dedicate some time to that but I also am going to binge a three-part Germany fanfic I think with a group of friends before New Year's is finished so I don't know I'm gonna start a new vlog for New Year's once the weekend starts tomorrow but uh yeah those are just my thoughts now so I am gonna go finish that Kindle read and then I will close out this vlog and give you guys my final thoughts all right it is saturday morning so clearly i'm just getting really bad at doing these updates so i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here but before i do i do want to mention that i did finish my mc book last night and i really really liked it um i think i'm gonna give this one four maybe four and a half stars i am so picky with my five stars so it's not quite there but this one was really enjoyable. The funny thing was though, I enjoyed the romance in this one more than the first, but I loved the suspense and the plot more in the first than I did the second. Like, I don't know, it's very weird to explain. If you read the series, you'll probably know what I'm talking about because the plot with the bad guys, I felt like it slowed down a little bit in this book. So I don't know, I'll have to see when the third one comes out, but I'm really intrigued for the setup for the third one because the guy in this one he is like the unhinged psycho of the gang and he wears a surgical mask all the time and he like stalks uh oakley the female main character so i'm really excited for that one um there's no date for it yet but um it's just like i said it's really nice to find new series and give them their appreciation but um, after that, I was trying to decide what to read because I just, I wasn't really in a Crescent City mood. I did read, or I listened to two, two chapters of it on Audible yesterday, but that was about it. I, I do need to prioritize it. It, it will be read by New Year's Eve, okay? It has to be on my December reads. It has to be on my 2023 reads or I'm probably gonna spiral. But anyway, I had this random mood to pick up a rom-com okay right didn't I just say earlier in this vlog that I hate rom-coms but I don't know I've been reading so much dark stuff that I kind of needed a palette cleanser so I picked up love theoretically I've had this on my shelf since June 
and um I started it late last night and I just finished it this morning and I actually really did enjoy this I don't think it's my favorite out of Allie Hazelwood's I think the love hypothesis is still gonna take that number one spot but this was cute and I really enjoyed it and like I said it was a nice palette cleanser because I think um I want to read something heavier next I'm not entirely sure but like I said I've just been reading so much dark stuff and this was just very nice and refreshing and Allie Hazelwood's books are such easy quick reads maybe I'll even pick up uh the new one next uh the chess one I did uh purchase that at Barnes and Noble the other day so who knows but uh yeah I am gonna wrap up this vlog here I mean yeah I'm still in my pajamas I haven't done makeup yet or anything but so that's really all I have. Um, it's Saturday, New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so I'll probably start a new vlog for that. But anyways, as always, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!